guys, Cassandra here. So, yes, there is a pile of stuffed animals on my bed and I am a 23 year old woman. And um, yeah, that just is what it is. Second, my eye is watering, so if I keep touching it, it's because my allergies are acting up and this eye just won't stop watering. I've fixed the makeup over here like a billion times and it just, it's about time to take this face off. Okay. And secondly, I apologize if the sound is off or if my camera is crooked because one, I lost my speaker to my camera, yay, go me. And two, I broke my tripod. And I had my tripod for like a week, if that, and I broke it. Ugh, go me. That's probably a record for me in breaking technological things. Anyways. <laughs> Happy New Year. I know I have been gone for a little while. Um, yeah, I just have been crazy busy with all the holidays coming, then New Year's, blah, blah, blah. Moving, as you can see, or you have learned if you follow me on, you know, Instagram or Facebook or some social media outlet besides YouTube. But yeah, so I am here today with a chit chat video again. Um, I have been going through a lot of different changes and things clearly um, in my life and I decided that the next video I should do should be a little reflective of that and something that I do get asked and told a lot which is that you know I'm very positive and always so upbeat and I kind of wanted to just get into how I stay that way what I do to remain positive because trust me it's not always easy it can be a struggle and we live in such a negative world and it is so easy to get down on ourselves. So I thought I would go over five little tips that I use and have been using like crazy lately um, to remain positive and happy and upbeat. So my first tip to how I stay positive is I meditate or I pray or I kind of chit chat with myself or sometimes I do a combination of all three. <laughs> I try to start my days off with meditation. I also pray. So I usually pray before I go to bed. So that also helps me stay positive. Um, and I also talk to myself. So I have chit chats and kind of I'm always talking very positively and uplifting to myself, which probably sounds crazy, but I swear by it, talking to yourself in a positive manner really does help you stay positive and upbeat and look at the bright side. Um, which kind of leads me right into number two, which is I remind myself of all the great things and positive things in my life. You know, when you're having a bad day or something goes wrong or you're just kind of doing that why me, why this situation, you need to really think instead of why me, go, go, you know, I have all these great things. I have a job, a car, a roof over my head. I have a family that loves me. You know, I have support from friends and family. Like you need to start going over all these things that are great. Like, you know, when you think that everything is going so bad and going so wrong, it's really easy to fall into that downward slope of letting all your thoughts go there. But as soon as you stop and cut them off right there and start thinking, you know, Life is actually really good. I'm alive, I'm breathing, I have a home. I have a dog who loves me, Yoshi. <laughs> I have a family who loves me, just things like that. You'll really start to realize you have a lot to be grateful for and it's really not all that bad. There are people who are starving, who don't have homes, who don't have families, all of those things and it could really be a billion times worse for you. So remind yourself of all those positive good things and things to be grateful for in your life and you'll realize what you're feeling bad about or why you're saying why me and getting mopey really is like that big. Number three, if there's a situation or something that is kind of bringing me down, I try to find the positive or bright side in it or the lesson. So for me lately, as you can see, I just moved because I went through a breakup. And so instead of moping and going, oh my God, I'm so sad that I went through a breakup, my life sucks, blah, blah, blah. I just started thinking about what was the lessons that I learned in that relationship? What did I gain from it? What were the positive things? And then I don't feel as bad that it didn't work out because I'm like, well, there was things that I gained from it. So it's not a total loss. Or, you know, look, I have a home that I love and it reflects me and I'm happy to be in a new space and environment and somewhere that I can be positive all the time. Try and always find the bright side, the lesson, you know, whatever it is, what you gain from that situation. 
and I assure you, you'll find it really hard to kind of focus on the negative when you're always like, well, it wasn't a total loss because I learned this or I found out this about myself or I gained this knowledge or that, you know, or I gained this experience. There's always a bright side to any situation. So always try and find that silver lining. Number four, I do daily affirmations. So every day I look in the mirror and I tell myself positive things like, you know, nothing is impossible. The word itself says I am possible. I have an affirmation right next to my bathroom um, mirror. I have affirmations around my bathroom mirror and I read them to myself as I get ready, brush my teeth, and then I sit down and while I do my makeup, I tell myself more affirmations. I tell myself positive, uplifting, good things to give myself that happy and outgoing energy to get whatever task I have ahead done in the best, happiest, positive manner. And number five, which can be kind of difficult, but it's very, very, very important to staying positive, and that is surrounding yourself with positive people, positive like-minded people. Um, it can make it a little lonely at times when you have to push certain people away, but I assure you that get, getting rid of people that are drama, that are negative, Debbie Downers, all of that will seriously change a lot about how you feel about your life and your day-to-day you know, overall being and emotions. You need to surround yourself with people who are like-minded and want to be happy, outgoing, and people who will help catch you as well when you're having kind of a mopey, like, woe is me, everything sucks, and they're like, hey, no, look at the bright side. For me, I am very, very blessed in that my family is 110% that for me. Whenever I start to get down and like, oh my gosh, this sucks, that sucks, they're always like, hey, but look at what you learned from that, or hey, look what you gained from that, hey. And they always help remind me and pull me back up. And the same with all of my friends. I used to have a lot more friends in my life, and I took that circle and really cut it down to a small, small circle, and that's because I wanted people who reflect what I'm striving for in my life, and that is a positive, happy, motivated life and lifestyle. All right, so I just wanted to go over one more thing, which I did not mention, and that is, oh, my gosh, my eye. Um, that is to allow yourself to feel any negative emotions that you need to. So by no means is my list to, ugh, to tell you to, that it's not okay to feel sad or mad or any of those things when necessary. My list is just to do after you allow yourself to feel those emotions. So for me, going through all these changes and stuff lately, I have wanted to be down and sad, and so I allow myself to be down for five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes, but usually no more than, no more than five minutes. And then I'm like, okay, snap out of it. And then I start going through my list of things, meditate, pray, you know, chit chat with myself, affirmations, all of those things, calling up a friend or a family member that's gonna help re-motivate me, those kinds of things. And then, you know, I feel better, but by no means am I telling you to not feel any of those negative emotions. If you need to cry for 10 minutes, five minutes, do it. If you need to scream in a pillow, do it. If you need to be sad, mad, sorry, whatever you need for the moment, do it. There we go. Um, but you need to allow yourself to feel those things because if you don't, you're just going to ball them up and they're going to stay inside you and then you're going to have a really bad explosion later and it's not going to be pretty. So by no means is my list or advice on how to stay positive to hide or cover up what you're really feeling. It's to help yourself to feel those bad feelings less and less so that you can spend more time happy. And you know, so it is important you know, to feel those things and definitely do, but don't allow yourself to feel them all day. Allow yourself for very short spurts and then just go enough and then go through the list of things to make yourself feel better. So I hope that list was helpful to you guys um, and I hope that you understand why I wanted to share them and understand that it is okay to feel down and anything like that of that nature, but it's not okay to wallow in it and it's really important to find things and tricks and whatever to stay positive because when you're positive and living a great upbeat life that's when great things manifest and grow and yeah so I'm just rambling now so I hope that that was helpful to you guys and I don't have anything else to say so until next time bye guys